Oh, hey, didn't think I'd see you there. Dave here with Transfer Express, and today we are going to be covering, you guessed it, band merch on a budget. So not only are we gonna be covering which styles to print and which styles will actually sell, but we'll also be covering how to make cost-effective gang sheets with our custom screen printed transfers and make some high profit margin merch. But then we'll also throw in the end some bonus tips for musicians out there on the road to boost your merch booth and drive traffic and make money at your shows. Even if you're just a custom printing business that does service some bands and musicians, you could give them the hot tips to sell out of their apparel. So are you ready? Let's get rocking. If you're new to the channel, Transfer Express is the leading supplier of custom printed digital and screen printed transfers for the apparel decorating industry. With two production facilities in Ohio and Arizona, we're able to meet the demand for our customers nationwide. And we are dedicated to customer service and helping grow custom apparel businesses is our number one priority. Everything we do is focused on making sure we send high quality, fashionable, custom transfers on time and on a budget. The first thing we're gonna talk about today is choosing the right style of apparel. In my history being on the road as a touring musician, we found that certain styles of apparel just didn't sell. And for women, we always made fitted t-shirts and for men, we always did the fine jersey 50-50 blends or 100% cotton. There are a few styles here that are gonna be perfect for what most customers are going to want and you're gonna to wanna to follow the one, two, two, one rule. That means one small for every two medium, two large shirts, and one extra large shirt, so that you have enough apparel for everybody in every size. Of course, go up maybe into the two to three X range, just to make sure you're not turning anyone away at the merch booth. But the first style I'm gonna to mention today is the Next Level 3600. This is a premium cotton tee comparable to the American Apparel 2001 and it is any printer's dream. It has a nice, smooth, even surface to adhere your transfers, or even if you're doing direct-to-garment or screen printing, these shirts print great, and the fit and feel while you wear them is awesome. They are slightly fitted, so they aren't as boxy as those more budget-minded tees while still being in that budget price range. Any of the district line, they even have them called the concert tee, or the very important tee. All of these are super smooth and super affordable to put in your merch arsenal and people just based on the feel will want to buy them. If you're looking at getting hoodies, the District 810 is awesome, a not too heavy hoodie, or if you're going into any of the other styles, they're all available at transferexpress.com at a wholesale apparel rate. One important thing to keep in mind when you are selecting apparel is check to see if it has a tearaway neck label. Most labels now in these blank wholesale garments you could pull right out and rebrand the inside with a custom print. Now that's gonna make the apparel look a little bit higher end and retail ready. All of this apparel is available at transferexpress.com in the wholesale apparel section. You don't need any tax IDs or business information, just your regular Transfer Express account. And we have all of these available for wholesale bulk pricing. Once you have your apparel ordered, we have to talk about creating your artwork. Today for our example, the gang sheet was created an easy view online designer at transferexpress.com. We are able to design and take layouts pre-made and just change them for the band here today. We fit three different full-size artworks onto our gang sheet, along with a print that we're gonna put on the koozies and one for the inside neck label like I mentioned earlier. If the bass player in your band is a pro at Photoshop, that's fine. You don't have to design online at Transfer Express. You could even upload your own artwork. With gang sheets, this is where we're going to maximize the profit of your apparel. You're buying the whole sheet, so you might as well fill it up. Here, the cart is layout QEV212, made for a food service or restaurant, and we just changed it a little bit to make it perfect for this band going out on tour this year. Not only did we create those in Easy View Online Designer, but we also took the same artwork and made some stickers. Now, these are super cost-effective and affordable stickers that come on a sheet here, but they're already pre-cut to be peeled off. It is super affordable to print them. If you wanna make them individual, you could just go ahead and cut them, or while you're designing them in Easy View, all you have to do is select Cut Apart, and we'll cut them apart for you for just an added fee. But enough about talking about it, I wanna show you just how easy it is to press these. 
And all we're using back here is our Hotronics Auto Clamp 16 by 20. This is a Cadillac of a heat press, but any heat press will be able to do to print these screen printed transfers as long as it is the right time, temperature, and pressure. So come on back here and I'll show you exactly how easy it is to create super affordable, high profit margin merch. So we're gonna take our first shirt and put it here on the press. Now I really love the auto clam because you could thread it right on here and then pull it off to make sure everything is nice and perfectly aligned onto your press. This is a fitted ladies style. So we're going to do a front and back print all with the artwork we had on our gang sheet. Now that we've got our garment all loaded onto the press, we're going to preheat it according to the transfer instructions. Today we are using our hot split retro transfers and they are an awesome screen printed soft hand feel. Hot split goes onto apparel at 365 to 370 degrees and a medium to firm pressure. Like I said earlier, you do not even need this high end of a heat press to be able to print these. On most heat presses, you're going to be able to get stellar results. If you're doing large runs, of course, these Hotronics 16 by 20 auto clams or the Fusion line are absolutely perfect. We'll go ahead and pre-press this, removing any moisture and wrinkles for three to five seconds. We'll go ahead and grab our transfer right here to print on the front. We're just gonna be doing a center chest. So we'll go ahead and take this and we're gonna lay it down right here on this women's tee. Because it's a V-neck, we're gonna go just a little bit higher than we usually do with our three fingers. And we're gonna make it like a finger or so. And just like that, we're ready to press. Hot split applies in eight to 10 seconds. Now it's in the name, hot split is a hot peel. So we'll just go ahead and peel that right off and we have the front side of our t-shirt all completed. Now we'll just turn this over and put it back onto the press to print our back print. Just like that, nice and easy on. We'll go ahead and pre-press this again for three to five seconds and get any extra moisture out of this print area. Now that we're all pressed, we'll go ahead and grab our big cart artwork and we're going to be putting this down on the back side. If you're new to heat transfer or just want to stay up to date on tips and tricks, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. We have videos not only showing you how to size your artwork, but how to expertly place it and press it so you minimize your waste and your learning curve. But since we're ready to go, we'll go ahead and press this one for another eight to 10 seconds. Hot split is a hot peel, so we'll peel this one immediately. And just like that, we've got a finished t-shirt with the band name on the front and an awesome tour graphic right there on the back. Our second shirt has a tearaway label. So we're gonna wanna print the inside and we're just gonna be decorating the front on this one. The cool feature of our Hotronics presses is the quick release mechanism where we could pull the platen right out. Of course, if you don't have a Hotronics press, there's still plenty of ways that you're able to print your inside tag, just not this easily. Just like that, it slides right back in and locks right back down. Now this is the HP Tag Along Platen from Hotronics. It's a patented design that you're not going to see anywhere else. We're gonna take our t-shirt, thread it onto the heat press just like we did before. And you can see that this has the perfect cutout right here for this collar outline. Once we make sure we're down the sides all nice and straight, we'll take our inside, reach up, pull it through, and now we have it on this little extra pad at the top. We'll go ahead and tear this label off so we have a nice easy spot to print our inside tag print I was talking about. Once we have our shirt all set on the platen here, we're gonna wanna do a pre-press. Now the pre-press here is going to remove the moisture and wrinkles just like we did on our last shirt, but because we switched the platen out, we're going to have to readjust our pressure to make sure we're in that medium to firm range to get that transfer adhering perfectly. So we'll pull it on down and see where we're at. And we're just at a three. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this back up, turn the press down just a couple dials and see where we're at now. And there we go, it's perfect. Now for this one, we'll be doing this casino style graphic that we pulled right from the cart in easy view, but we'll be putting this one right on the center chest of this shirt. So we'll find the center and look down and space it about three fingers down from the collar. Now the beauty of this HP tag along is that we are able to print 
the inside label at the same exact time that we're printing that front. So when you're doing large runs, it's awesome to be able to bust out not only the center chest, but the inside tag as well. Here's our inside tag artwork that we did put on uh, our gang sheet, and we'll just go ahead and put this down right here. And all in one motion, just in 10 seconds with our hot split transfers, we'll be able to do the front and the inside tag. So let's go ahead and press it. And a hot split is a hot peel transfer. So we'll go ahead and just peel this right on off. Just as easy as the other one, we have our front print and the inside tag. One of the coolest things, if you didn't know, but our screen printed transfers are writable. So if you have a permanent marker, you could just write in the size if you didn't wanna fill up your entire sheet with all the different sizing. For our last application project I'll show you today is just how easy it is to do some koozies. This print is just an add-on because we already could have printed three different shirts or front back print, back front print, however we wanted to do it. But with this extra artwork, we're just gonna go ahead and lay it back down on a koozie here, and we're gonna apply it all the same of how we applied everything else. And just like hot split is a hot peel, we'll go ahead and peel it right off. And just like that, you got yourself a cool little koozie. Before we get to those merch booth success tips, one thing I wanna cover is some real deal, legit profit margins on what we just printed. With our gang sheet here, if we ordered 25 of these, now these are just one ink color, these are $78.25 or about $3 a piece. Per image, these come out to about a buck oh four each. And that's because we put three full size t-shirt graphics onto the sheet. So we have 75 total images to work with. Now, if you're buying more than 36 of the Next Level 3600 t-shirt that we mentioned before, those blanks are $4.79 each. Plus the $1.04 for each print, you're looking at $5.83 per t-shirt cost. And as you can see, it only took about 10 seconds to put one of these prints onto the t-shirt. In my experience playing out on the road, we were able to sell t-shirts to $20 to $25 a piece. And that means huge profit margins if you're only paying less than $6 for a printed t-shirt. And we're not even talking huge quantities here. We ordered 25 sheets with 75 total t-shirts. One thing to keep in mind when you are selecting your blank apparel is which colors to buy. If you have a color that works well with the brand's color scheme or branding, that's awesome. When in doubt, just go with black. It is the most classic and popular t-shirt color for a reason. It's one thing setting up a merch booth, it's another thing selling out of your merch. It's always a great feeling, it's a great way to put money back in the band's pocket. Number one tip to drive traffic to the merch booth that always worked for me was to offer freebies. We're talking the stickers. We're talking some posters that you could inexpensively go to a copy shop and get printed out. And while they're not that high end, when you're on stage, you could offer, hey, look, we got some free posters and stickers back at the merch booth. Come see us after the show and bam, now you got them in front of all of your shirts and any other merchandise, your vinyl or cassette tapes, CDs. So tip number one, get traffic to the booth. Tip number two, bundling products together to sell more. If you have a t-shirt and a vinyl bundle or buy a t-shirt, get one half off. Even buy a t-shirt, get free posters or stickers or sign something for them. It's always a great way to add a little bit extra. Tip number three, make sure your prices are on the merchandise. Don't make the customer ask how much it is. They're way more likely to buy when they see, oh wow, that shirt's only 20 bucks. Awesome, I'm gonna pick it up right now. If you say anything's limited quantity or a special edition, that usually helps things go quicker. The last tip for your merch booth when you're a band or musician out on the road is get some lights to just clip up onto your merch. A lot of times the back corner of the venue where your merch booth is, is super dark. Whether it be Christmas lights around the table or some lights on the wall, or even clipped onto the table that are battery powered, it's going to light up your merch booth and make it a focal point wherever it is in the venue. 
that's going to bring people to it, bring people to you, where you're gonna get to meet your fans and sell merch. And that's all I've got for you guys today. So from stickers and koozies to t-shirts and posters and some helpful tips, whether you are a band getting started or getting out on the road, or if you're a custom apparel printer who just works with some local musicians in your area, these are awesome tips to help anybody. If this video rocked your socks off, go ahead and click that thumbs up button and subscribe to stay tuned for a whole bunch of inspirational and educational content that we're posting every single week. But until next time, I'm Dave and happy pressing.